Hello again, I'm yoga therapist Sally Dunn and this is part three of our Mindful Chair Yoga series brought to you by Dunleary Rathdown Libraries. So grab hold of that kitchen chair and we'll get started. Hello again, we're back on the kitchen chair for some nice mindful yoga. So I'm going to suggest you sit up tall as always, bring your hips right into the back of the seat. So feel the back of the chair there against your lower pelvis and let that spine reach up nice and tall. Plant your feet on the floor and have that 90 degree angle at the back of your knees. So your knees are supported by your ankles. Hands are resting on your lap. So let's just tune into the breathing now as always to centre ourselves before we go into the fuller, busier part of the practice. So as you sit here now, close your eyes, lower your head, keep your back away from the backrest now because we're building our strength in our postural muscles to keep us sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed down, let the elbows relax, just do little butterfly elbows little butterfly wings as you move your elbows in and out and then just draw the elbows in so there's an active drawing in of the elbows hands gently pressing down into the lap and that helps to kind of help us lift our sternum lift the breastbone so their collarbones are broad because what we're looking to do is to stretch the pectoralis muscle which as you know very strong muscle it tends to round the shoulders forward because we do a lot of things in this forward plane carrying things and that. So we really need to resist that and draw those shoulders back which will make us use the upper back muscles a bit more. So elbows in, drawing the shoulder blades together, back of the neck long. Now notice where you hold your head and a lot of us, particularly if we're looking down at a device, our heads are forward and the chin is forward and that of course gives a lot of pressure to the neck. So we would like to draw the head back, the back of your head in line with your sacrum. And you'll notice how that makes you really use these upper back muscles a lot more and helps you draw those shoulders back. So coming out of this rounded position into this more upright and open posture. And you might notice when you do that, you actually feel you want to breathe in a bit more because literally you do have more space because you're not crouched over, you're free to breathe in. So let's bring the hands to the heart center. Let's lower the head to the hands. Let's press the hands against each other. We're actively pressing the hands so that we have the heels of the hands touching and we're lowering our gaze down towards our fingertips if that suits your neck. And gently raise your head and look up. And as you breathe out again, you can blow the breath out blowing the breath down towards your fingertips. And again, breathing in to look up. Breathing out, blow the breath down towards your fingertips. You feel the lift in your chest and the broadness of your shoulders as your hands press against each other and you'll feel a nice stretch in the back of the neck. And that whole trapezius muscle travels down the side of your neck and down the back of your sh between your shoulder blades. So the more you're pressing the hands together and lowering the head, lifting the sternum, you'll feel all that area working for you. Very good. Gently bring the hands back down to your lap now and just check out how you're feeling today now before we move on. Close your eyes now and do a little running check down through the body. Each week we're building our awareness of the physical body to notice where there might be tension so that when we notice it, we can have the option of letting go. So it's this unconscious tension that we hold all the time, which we're trying to become more aware of so that we can release it, to bring more ease to the body. So head and neck, how is your neck today? Do a little nodding, a little turning of the head, a little small rotation with the nose as we've done before, creating space in the back of your neck. How are the shoulders today? Elbows, wrists and hands. And how's your back? Draw those shoulders back, the upper back, the middle back and the lower back. How are they doing? And the hips, check in with your hips, left and right, 
the legs, the knees. Check in with the shin bones, the calf muscles, the ankles and with your feet. And as you rest here now, you can open the eyes and we'll start to heel and toe the feet. So we're going to bring the energy right down into the feet. We need to be really aware of our toes as we press the backs of all the toes into the floor. Lifting the heels up, you'll feel the calf muscles working as you press the heels down and lift the rest of the foot up. You'll feel the muscles in the front of your shin working. So just continue with that action. Toes down, heels up, heels down, toes up. As you feel how the feet feel, you're waking them up, feeling the movement in the, uh, the muscles. You're working the ligaments, bathing the tendons with fresh circulation. Very good. And then let the feet relax down on the, lap, on, on the floor. And again, just tune in. How is your breathing today? How are you feeling? As you breathe in deeply, feeling those ribs expanding and contracting. Bring your hands to the side body so that the heel of your hand is on the side seam of your t-shirt. And wrap the hands around the lower ribs. So finding the waist, just move up to those floating ribs, the lower ribs, knowing that the lungs extend from the collarbones all the way down to those end ribs. So we're going to feel that expansion of the rib cage as we breathe in and that concertina back in as we breathe out. So I'd like you to feel the hands, first of all, be aware of them. Elbows broad to the side. Breathe in, feel the ribs expanding, feel the ribs contracting. You may even feel your fingers parting as your ribs fill as the lungs fill and as you breathe out, the ribs soften back in again. Noticing as you fill and as you empty with the breath that movement in the ribs so that you're knowing that you're breathing down into those uh, lower parts of the lungs. And of course, the tummy, of course, will fill a bit more as you breathe in, as you breathe out. So if you feel that movement under the ribs, or even if you don't feel it, imagine that feeling of a balloon filling as the breath comes in, the balloon deflating as the breath goes out. And this deeper breathing, as we've been saying, really helps to bring us into a more relaxed state and helps our body calm down. So we're bringing the hands now down to the abdomen to again feel can we experience that movement of breath in the abdomen? Breathe in, the tummy fills. Breathe out, the tummy sinks back in. I want you to actively now, when you breathe out next time, draw your belly button back in towards your body to depress the abdomen in. And then breathe in again, soften the abdomen to fill. And as you breathe out again, draw the abdomen in. So you're actively using the abdominal muscles, particularly this transverse abdominus, the broad one that goes across. You're drawing that in to draw your abdomen in as you breathe out. That helps to whoosh the breath out. So breathe in, tummy softens and fills. As you breathe out, draw the belly in and let the breath be pushed out as it were. Good, so just see how that feels now. Let the hands rest. Notice how you feel now. Again, rock from side to side, finding those sitting bones. Very good. And just notice how you feel after the breathing practice. Coming back to centre, well done. Let's bring both arms forward, palms are facing. I want you to imagine you have a beach ball between your hands. So your hands are about the width of your shoulders. And then breathe in again to lift, breathe out to come down. Let the arms go behind you. So we get this stretch, a little stretch across the chest. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, let the hands come down to, pointing down to the floor. Lift the sternum, press your feet into the floor. Bring the arms out to the sides now, back down again. Let's just warm up the shoulders now two, three, four times. As you breathe in, let the arms open out. The palms are facing the floor. Your thumbs are pointing, pointing forward. Bring the arms back down. Next time, bring the arms up. Rotate the palms behind you with the palms facing up. 
and hold that for a moment, weight-bearing exercise. Breathe in again, fill the lungs. And breathe out, turn the palms down, bring the arms back down. Check out how would it be with this side, the right arm, breathe in, turn the palm over. As you breathe out, how would it be to bring the arm up? Now, we can extend the arm all the way up towards the ceiling. Turn the palm down, bring the arm back down again, but it might not suit you. So decide what's good for your shoulder, okay? Take a breath in, the other arm is lifting, turn the palm over as you lift. Now you might decide only to go to a kind of a wide position like this. If it suits you, you might go higher. It's up to you. And bring the arm back down. And week on week you'll find actually that this will develop. Breathe in, breathe out, lifting. So this will be 180 degrees flexion from all the way down here, all the way up to the ceiling. So see if that suits you. Bring the arm back down on the other side. Breathe in to lift. And this side might be easier for you than the other side. But again, you're only taking it to where it suits your shoulder. There's no point in going through um, a painful shoulder by pushing. So go easy. Bring the arm back down and bring the palm back down. Brilliant. And then just shrug the shoulders. Draw them up to the, to the ears and then drop them down. Draw them up to the ears as you tighten the muscles. And then as you breathe out, you're releasing, releasing, releasing. Good. So just check out how that felt. Swing the arms either side just to ease out all flow of the shoulder and try that on the other side again so that you're going gently through your movements and I'll be giving you stronger and stronger movements as we go along if they become uncomfortable you just go back to a previous movement whatever was comfortable for you breathing in now with your back away from the backrest you're sitting up tall your feet are pressing to the floor arms are now out in front of you level with the shoulders we're now going to keep the elbows up and just bend the elbows. Lovely. So take a breath in, send the right arm out, send the left arm out. Now, if you can keep the elbows up level with your shoulders, that would be great. And then slowly bring the elbows towards each other and then open out again. Now, this is pretty strong, so take it easy. Two or three repetitions and you can relax the arms back down or keep going if it suits you. Breathe in, open out, get a nice broad chest, keeping those elbows up. If the elbows are down, fine, no problem, but see if you can, as you repeat, breathe in, open out, and get that stretch across the chest. And then bring the arms back in, lovely, and then just let the arms relax all the way down. Good, so just check again, shrug the shoulders, check how that feels. And then one more time, bring the arms forward, bend those elbows. Is it comfortable to bring the palms together in front of you? Maybe I'll turn to the side so you can see me. Hands together. What would it be like to bring the elbows together? That's going to give you a nice stretch across the back of the shoulders. So elbows towards each other. Good. And then straighten the arms out in front of you, level with your shoulders, and do a sideways movement. Let me turn around again towards you so you can see what I'm doing. Arms are out level with the shoulders and we're drawing a line with your long middle finger. Imagine like it's a marker and you're drawing a horizontal line. Now your knees are still pointing forward, your hips are still pointing forward, but notice that you're getting a little rotation in the waist, a little rotation in the ribs. As your arms, you're getting a stretch across the back of the shoulder as you go from side to side. Well done. Come back to centre, bend the elbows in, bring the hands back to the heart centre, pause for a moment and notice how you feel. Good. Last one with the arms now. We're going to do a little bit of reaching, a little bit of grape picking. We're going to reach up with the hands one at a time. So go easy. How does that feel to bring the arm up and do you get that nice stretch down the side body? So don't overdo it. So you can start with a small movement or you could even reach forward. You're still getting a nice stretch on the shoulders. Or you can gradually start to lift higher. So let's say reaching to the far corner of the room and back in. And then maybe it might work for you to reach up. So notice how you get this full stretch. Lovely openness in the armpit area, side body. The stretch is all the way down to the hip. 
Bring the arm down, breathe in and reach again. Be careful of your neck. Don't look up if the neck is uncomfortable. And then come down one more time. Breathe in to reach. Or if you're reaching out in front, reach out. Grab the grapes and pull them back in. Well done. Pause now. Just check how the shoulders are doing. Shrug the shoulders. Bring the arms down by your sides. Shake out the hands like you've drops of water on your fingertips. Lean over to one side and let that arm just swing like it's heavy as though it's just sellotaped on at the shoulder. Just offload that whole arm and shoulder and go to the other side. Well done. So now coming back to centre we're going to stand up again. So just as we did in the last uh, class as it were, the last um, episode, we were to stand but we're going to stand beside the chair. So you can stand behind the chair, I'm just bringing the chair to the side and we're going to stand with the high part of your chair there to hold on to or if you find you might think that chair is a bit wobbly stand against the wall or hold on to a counter surface or to something pretty steady so that you feel nice and uh, comfortable. Your feet are at hip width distance, just bend into the knees. Place one hand on the hip and bend into the knees. Notice the knees go no further than the toes to protect the knees, no further than your toes and then stand up, stand up tall, drawing up on the quadricep, on your thigh muscles drawing in the abdomen, bring your hand to your waist, shoulders are over your hips and your ears are directly over your shoulders. In other words, your head is not hanging forward, you're drawing the back of your head in line with your sacrum, the end of your back. Hold on to your chair and transfer the weight into your right foot. So transfer the weight into your right foot and then just allow yourself to come onto the toes of the other foot. And then if you feel comfortable with that, you can lift the knee. So now we're balancing on one leg. And this is going to really strengthen your ankle muscles. So the standing leg is straight. You're raising the opposite knee. It doesn't have to be too high. In fact, you can keep the toe just touching the floor if that suits you. And you can start to experiment with your balance by letting go of the chair. If that is comfortable for you and easy for you, you could perhaps allow that knee to open out to the side. So you get a little stretch on the inner leg, activating your outer hip. Then draw the knee back in, bring the foot back down. Let's do that to the other side. So carefully transfer the weight into your standing leg. Bring your toes to the floor and lift up that knee. Now again, it doesn't have to be level with your hip because you're still balancing whether your big toe is just slightly touching the floor, you're still balancing. And then have the knee wherever suits you. Press down into your standing foot, draw in your abdomen, lift your chest, broaden your shoulders, chin level with the floor. And open that knee to the side, if you have space with the chair in the way, or leave the knee out in front, whatever is working for you. And then just for a second, let's just play with our balance as we build up to Vrixana, tree pose. So we're just standing tall, we're just seeing what would that be like. And all the while you'll feel your standing leg working and your standing hip is working hard. Very good. And then gently bring the foot back down. And then just draw your chair back and we'll do a little bit of what we did last time, which was holding onto the chair. Feet hip width distance apart swaying the hips just to relax our back and then swaying forward and back. So I'm going to stand a little bit further back. I'm going to bend my knees, bring my weight forward over my wrists with my elbows straight. Breathe in here. As I breathe out, send the hips back. So we're getting a nice little stretch on the lower back. And of course, all the time you're working with your breath movement with the breath. So much the yoga style. Breathe in here and as you breathe out stretch back with your sitting bones. Imagine your tailbone is pushing back to the wall behind you. Keep your neck long so that your head is looking down parallel to the floor. Breathe in again and breathe out and stretch back. Lovely. Bring your hands to your knees 
or walk in towards the chair to stand up. Otherwise, hands to the knees and just round your back and come gently up to standing. Stand tall and just notice how you feel. Get the weight even again on both feet, standing tall in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Crown of the head reaching to the ceiling, long neck, broad shoulders, sternum lifted, abdomen engaged, legs engaged and weight even on both feet. Good. Take a deep breath in. Raise both arms out to the sides. Breathe out. Bring the hands down. Bend the knees. And again, breathe in. Lift up. Fill the lungs. Lift the heart as you breathe out, gently bending as though you're scooping up for fresh in water to shower the body. Breathe in. Spread the hands. Spread the fingers. And one more time. Breathe in and lift. Bring the hands together, bring the hands back to the heart centre and pause for a moment, looking down at the floor. Good. And gently now we're going to sit down on the chair to close our practice. So well done. You've worked all the joints yet again. Shoulders, neck, arms, your back, of course, and hips, legs, knees and the feet. So lean back in your seat now for a moment and bring one hand to your abdomen, one hand to your upper chest. Let the elbows rest, lower your head towards your lap. Close the eyes now and lean back into your chair. Take the support from the chair. Let your knees drop out to the sides so the leg muscles are relaxed and lean your full weight into that chair. And tune into your breathing. Notice how it feels. Notice how the breath is now after your practice. Notice how the body feels after your practice. Notice those familiar areas of tension in the body. How are they doing now? Very good. And so we'll bring the hands back together at the heart centre and we'll close our practice now. So well done everyone. Bring the arms out to the sides, lift all the way up, breathe in fully and bring the hands back to the heart centre and twice more. Breathing in and fully out and last time. Drawing energy in now for the rest of your day and bring it deeply into the body. Namaste.